What's up, YouTube? New week, new video. Had a couple questions about an average training week for me, so I figured I would address that. Um, I'm currently using the Sufferfest training plan as my training plan. Uh, I've exported all that into Training Peaks, so that's what I'm following. That being said, with or without that, an average training week for me is between four to seven hours. Seven hours, honestly, is a good week. Um, I've got 40 plus hour work week, 10 plus hour of commute per week, um, and then family time and everything else. So I really need to try to be um, as focused on my training time as I can, and Sufferfest helps me do that. Uh, and make sure that what I'm doing is effective instead of just kind of in that, that gray zone of doom that uh, is, is pretty easy to fall into. So that being said, Monday today is, uh, is a day off. Um, no cycling today, but uh, we did some bike maintenance instead. Got them all cleaned up and ready to go. So uh, with that, let's jump into uh, the rest of the week and take a look at Tuesday. All right, it's Tuesday. First workout of the week. Suffer fest, chores. All right, in the kit, ready to go. Quick overview. We're gonna focus on um, some maximal aerobic power. Again, it's just under an hour um, and it's a tough one. Let's uh, start spinning the trainer up and, uh, and get at it. That's Tuesday. Um, let's see, the chores. I don't like that workout. That one's a little tough. Um, so you saw we had the three, <clears throat> three interval sets. Starts off with uh, yep, seven, seven intervals at 35, 45 seconds with a little break <clears throat> at uh, right around, I guess, VO2, I don't know, somewhere up there, way above FTP. <clears throat> and then you tail off that, finish up that set with, um, <clears throat> Damn. Finish up that set with uh, just below FTP effort. And uh, and yeah, you do that three times. This is one of the reasons why I like Sufferfest. Um, I got almost no sleep last night. Had a long day at work. Wasn't in the mood to do this. If I hadn't had a plan, I would have ridden way easier today. Um, and I would have chalked it up to some kind of excuse. I feel better after doing it. Um, it was hard. Man, you put, uh, you put the, the trainer in ERG mode and you let Sufferfest take care of it. Um, and you can't go easy if you want to. So, whew, all right, that's Tuesday, on to Wednesday. Whew. All right, YouTube, it's Wednesday. Just got back from work. Which means it's time to get on the trainer. Today, So today, if I remember right, going back to Training Peaks, uh, we're doing another Sufferfest video. And this one's called The Shovel. And this one's not pretty. Let's take a look. I've got the iPad here with Sufferfest loaded up. It's just over an hour, I think an hour and 16 minutes or so. And like I said, on the way into the house, it is not pretty. It's 46 intervals, two sets of 23, um, the first set, you start off with um, just above FTP and you work your way up um, to, I think, 800 watts, and then you come back down through those 23 intervals. And then on the second set, you start at the 800 watt, you come down and then work your way back up. So um, it's a monster of a workout. But this is kind of why I do Sufferfest. I would never be able to do this on my own um, without a coach yelling at me or some other thing, but Sufferfest makes me do it. It gets it done in an hour. Um, which is about how much time I have. Got home from work, got to do dinner, got to do all that stuff, all the family things that us normal humans have to do. So um, that's why I do this. That's why I do uh, Supper Fest during the week, uh, just because it works with my time constraint. Well, anyway, I got to get to it. Um, we'll check in after. Happy Wednesday. I got the feeling I was talking too fast on that one. Let me know.
All right. Decided to cool down a little bit more this time before trying to talk to you. Because yesterday was... <laughs> yesterday was hard talking to you after I got off the bike. <clears throat> so that was... That was a shovel. I really... I really hate that workout. 46 intervals. 46. <sighs> Man. But... Um, the things that are... What is it? Something about the things that are good for us aren't always the things that we like. Something like that. <clears throat> so the things that are good for us aren't always the things that we like. And I have to imagine that workout's good for me. Um, so, anyway, man, that's, that's Wednesday. I'm glad that's over. <clears throat> so I know this may kind of feel like a, a Sufferfest commercial, and it's not. What this really is is just, you know, talked on Monday about, I don't have a whole lot of time. I need to be focused. Sufferfest is a tool that allows me to be focused. There are other tools out there that do it. You could have a, a high intensity focus plan with, uh, with Zwift, with, um, <clears throat> with Trainer Road, uh, and a smart trainer. You, you can do it that way. It's not the tool I choose. I've used both of those. I actually still have a Zwift account, um, but I like Sufferfest better. Sufferfest is a better tool for me. And in addition to the training on the bike that we do, you get the, <clears throat> the little mental training. You've got yoga. You've got other stuff in the app that just really makes it the best value for for me and for my situation, which again is high intensity, short amount of time, especially through the week. So <clears throat> that's why I use it. And that's why I keep talking about it. Uh, and I'm going to keep using it. And I'll probably keep talking about it. So that's it for today. We will uh, we'll see you on Thursday. So I was just looking at Training Peaks. <clears throat> I was in a hurry when I got home. And I was going off a of memory of what my workout was supposed to be today. It was supposed to be power station, not the shovel. <laughs> oh. And it's Thursday. So yesterday, as we saw at the end, I made a mistake. Um, I was supposed to do power station yesterday, which is a more FTP focused workout. It's more of a threshold workout. The shovel uh, is more of a neuromuscular aerobic capacity, anaerobic capacity. It's, it's harder stuff. It's higher intensity stuff than I was really supposed to do yesterday. So today, well, uh, what I was scheduled for um, is a workout called The Trick, which again is super high intensity up at 500 watts. Um, I'm not doing that today. Today we're going to fold back power station in after two days of the high intensity workout. We're gonna drop back down into some FTP work with Power Station. So, you know, whatever. I made a mistake and I'm off schedule a little bit. Um, but I feel like another 600 watt interval day would just not be good for me right now. So we're gonna go at the at the lower efforts and kind of build that, that broader base within, I guess, the, the dynamics of the workout. So without further ado, let's jump into the workout. Did that, did that come off high energy? <laughs> I'm tired. My legs are tired. I'm tired. Eh. All right, back to the workout. All right, so that was Power Station. Very different workout from the last two that I've done. <laughs> and it's kind of an awkward workout for me and you're just kind of churning at super low cadences, which isn't, isn't, my, isn't my natural state. My natural state is 90 RPM, spinning fast, and that's how I typically ride. So to spend basically an hour um, <clears throat> at, uh, at 20 minute power levels in intervals um, at 60 RPM just isn't, isn't my idea of, uh, of fun, but I did it. Um, I get, I think now, why the program was structured the way that it was, where I did, um, you know, when we did the chores, that was kind of anaerobic, high cadence. Then I was supposed to do power station yesterday, which would have been the, the lower cadence aerobic workout. And then today was supposed to be uh, another kind of anaerobic hit. So although I messed that structure up, I get it. Um, I'm sure the benefit will be good enough for that. Uh, so that's, that's Thursday. That's today. Good news. Uh, last day on the trainer and last day inside. Super excited about that. Um, 
I get to get out of the green room, which is nice. Um, so yeah, here we go. I'm gonna eat a cookie because I'm hungry. I didn't eat enough before I left work and I got on the trainer. So yeah, see you tomorrow. That's pretty good. And it is Friday. Finally, TGIF, something like that. So as promised, we will not be on the trainer today, but it's a rest day. So I figured we'd take the rest day time to just kind of go over where we've been so far. Monday, day off, start the week off. Tuesday was high intensity, uh, high wattage, high cadence. Wednesday was basically the same. Thursday was a little different. We brought the wattage down, longer intervals, lower cadence, not my favorite, but what that shows is that the different Sufferfest workouts kind of make you focus on different things. And we've gotten through those three days, the full range of, um, of workouts, right? Like bottom to top. And that's one of the other reasons why I like Sufferfest because I'm, I'm lazy <laughs> sometimes in terms of thinking about what I want to do. If I just went out and rode my bike, I wouldn't hit all that range. I'd probably stay more in that middle zone that's a little bit more comfortable that you don't really build from. So again, another reason why I like Sufferfest. I don't like training indoors. It's not why I ride a bike, but it's what I have to do this time of year, days being short, all that good stuff. When summer rolls around, my typical week will change a little bit. I'll still do some of the indoor stuff to keep it focused, but I'll be outdoors more often. And maybe we'll do a little touch up uh, about a typical week on a video in the summer. But that's it for today. That's Friday. Um, almost done with the week. Tomorrow we will be outside. Uh, I'm not sure if it's road or mountain yet. We'll figure that out. Um, so yeah, I will see you uh, tomorrow. It's Saturday. <clears throat> I promised we'd be outside. Doesn't get much more outside than this. Uh, just busted up over the clouds on our way up to Sky Park in Santa's Village. Um, we'll do some skills work today. Let's check it out. It is, it is a gorgeous day. Weather couldn't be better. I'm in short sleeves in January, over 5,000 feet. Uh, I brought long sleeve stuff, didn't even need it. This wasn't the plan today. Uh, today was supposed to be two hours at like 74% of threshold or something boring like that. Um, we're keeping it low here, but it's still a more dynamic full body workout. Been on the trainer all week. Kind of want to get the body moving, get some of the bigger obstacles kind of going. Uh, so it's been fun. check back in uh, tomorrow for Sunday and it's Sunday just like that typical training week is over I was actually scheduled for blender today for Sufferfest but because I spent all day really all day in Sky Park at Santa's Village I just I couldn't fit it in I still have a bunch of stuff to do um, so that's that that is a typical training week for me not only is it the Sufferfest stuff but it's making mistakes, it's doing things that aren't on the schedule, it's letting the schedule go for life to come in and do what it has to do. Uh, I try really hard to, to stay on it, to stay on plan, but sometimes it just, it just doesn't work out. And, uh, and that's okay. I stay in shape so I can stay having fun, and I'm still having fun. But uh, like I said, I think we'll update this in the summer. We'll get a more typical training week in the summer after we get more of a race schedule in, and, uh, and that's that. I hope uh, you got something from it. I hope it was interesting. Um, if you haven't tried Sufferfest, highly recommend it. Um, Wahoo is a, is a good trainer for it. Wahoo Kicker, it's what I use. Um, there are other ones out there that are smart trainers. Try those out. Um, I know it's a, it's a crap ton of money for the smart trainer to sink into the training, but man, it is, it is the most valuable training tool you will ever get. That's, that's just, that just is what it is. Um, all right, so, if you like it, hit the like, smash it, or just tap it. Either way, um, give me a comment. Tell me what you did like, what you didn't like. Tell me Sufferfest is awesome. Tell me you can't use it, whichever. I just want to hear what you have to say. We'll talk about it. And, uh, and subscribe if you dig this. We're talking mostly about training and racing um, and a little bit of other stuff on the bike. Uh, sometimes it's mountain bike. Sometimes it's other stuff. Um, although we haven't seen much other stuff yet, but we'll get to that. All right. Until next time. See ya.